Hello everyone. Today let's talk about very interesting formula which can be used in treating coughing and sore throat. This is very famous formula in Hong Kong, in Korea, and even in the United States. It is called Pei Pa Kua. Actually, I heard about this formula from my patient. I didn't have have any information about this formula but some Korean patient talked about this formula as a miraculous medication for coughing any kind of coughing so I, I was very curious and I asked her to bring the medication if she can and she brought the medication and it looks like this and FDA urged the doctors and parents not give a cough medication for children because they have more risk than benefit. So natural remedies for coughing, that is very meaningful. This formula, Pei Pa Kua, is a formula from Wenping School. So this history is not that long. And this formula is created by Ip Tin Si, his very famous figure in Wenping School. And there's an interesting background story of this formula. At the time, Qing Dynasty, there was a governor whose name was Yang Xiaolan, and he had a mother who suffered from severe coughing. And with this remedy, his mother became healthier. So he named this Pei Pa Kua, Nin Jiom Pei Pa Kua. Nin Jiom means memory of mother, memory of mother. So it's kind of sweet. So you, if you see this logo here, there's a picture. Son is taking care of his old mother. So this factory started from China, but eventually it is sold to Hong Kong company and it got very popular. Uh, this is the Google search page with the Korean word Pei Pa Goa. I could find a lot of blog for post from mother's community and there was a newspaper press new curse just discovered paper kwa nin jiom paper kwa uh, even it is sold in walmart or amazon everywhere it is the research from 1994 and actually this is not a clinical study but they found uh, anti-inflammatory effect with this paper qua. The company says it is the medication for cough and sore throat. So major two symptoms, cough and sore throat. And major function of this TCM formula is transforming the phlegm and clears heat so it has a cold property and nourish lung in. Another major function of this formula is phlegm expectoration. So they can be used for heat presentations with dry sore throat and hoarse voice and can also be used for chronic cough due to phlegm damp. The formula is neutral in temperature or only slightly cooling. By understanding the herbs inside, you can see through actual meaning of this formula clearly. First, this is the important part. Bansha, Juhong, it is like a champion and fooling and shenjiang and kankao kankao so what do you think this is the urchentang so this is the formula based on urchentang so basic pathology you should remember with this formula is phlegm so if you want to use this formula patients should have a phlegm and this beimu chuan beimu and pi pa ye in the name of this formula pi pa this, this formula relates cough and phlegm. And other herbs like uh, Quan Dong Hua, Zi Gang, and Yuan Ji, and Ku Xing Lan, and Guo Lu Ji, they all release cough and phlegm. And you can see here Bo He. This is only one herb which have a uh, effect of releasing exterior. So interestingly, this is not the formula for releasing exterior. There is no Guizhi or Ma Huang or Xingzie, Fang Feng. None of those herbs 
which can release exterior are not included here. So this is not the formula releasing exterior and Sha Shen turn off by long in and Wu Wei Qi Wu Wei Qi hold cup by its property of as a astringent astringent. So it holds the qi. And Feng Mi, this is honey, turn off by long qi and nourish the long too. So there is a slightly function of tonifying, but easily I think you can see this is the formula for excessive condition. And most herbs have a cold temperature, cold property. So based on Urchin Tang, they put the Yip Chin Shi put cold suppressant and expectorant and some intonifier, mostly intonifier. So I can summarize this way. With just one sentence, this is the medication for cough with heat and dry phlegm. Heat and dry phlegm. So phlegm is the keyword, and heat and dry. And it can be more suitable for acute and subacute condition, and slightly heat condition, more than cold condition like a wind cold. This is better for wind heat, and excessive condition, excessive heat. Or dryness. Dryness is not the lung in deficiency but sticky of phlegm. So heat and dry phlegm and excessive heat and acute cough before dry cough. Dry cough means without phlegm. So this is not the proper prescription for completely dry cough because they don't have a phlegm. And th these are the contraindications. If there is a severe deficiency, you'd better consider other formulas. My man Dong Tang, there is a strong intonifier. So if there is a lung qi deficiency and kidney yang deficiency, kidney, kidney cannot hold up rising qi, this is another important pathology in TCM explaining chronic cough. In those conditions, you can prescribe Liu Wei Di Huang Huan with other cough suppress suppressant. And bacterial infection with high and persistent fever, in those cases, you'd better refer the patient for screening pneumonia. And this is from drug.com. If sore throat is severe, persistent for more than two days, is accompanied or followed by fever, headache, rash, nausea, or vomiting, consult the doctor promptly. So this is a general warning. This is a really good medication for coughing with heat or dry phlegm. Uh, based on my experience with my patient, this is not that miraculous, but it is as good as other cough medications in TCM. This is one of my favorite formula for coughing patient. Thank you.